Pete, please, just tell me. Get out! Boy! Is she dead? No, not yet. Well, you will be if you don't leave now. Well, what happened, please? What you wanted. I know she could die. Are you happy? Get out! Come on, V, pick up. Listen to me. It's on fire and there's still three people in there. They're nearly here. We need to get them out. I can't find him. I don't know what he was. Dad! Couldn't get out. We couldn't save us. Well, Ruby, she's dead. She's oh. gone. Is Kyle still missing? April, she reckons she saw him hiding under a sink in the kitchen. No, you looked in there, didn't you? Obviously, you're not like Moira or anyone else here. Hey, who is it? Oh, no, Oh, God. Kyle! Kyle, do you think you can get out? Come on, mate, you can do it! No! No, no, wait! Don't do that! Don't do that! This is not a game, Kyle! <laughs> Kyle, you need to come out of here now! This whole place is gonna burn! Come on! He's fine. He's here, actually. Hello? No, I'm OK. I, I just uh, breathe in a lot of smoke, so... No, they'll be releasing me soon. Shall I just come back to you? No, I'm there now. Okay. 
Oh. Right. How is she? You reckon it's a spleen? Probably for surgery now. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Hey, uh, Debbie Dingle, can we see her, please? It's Barton, Debbie Barton. We've only been married a few hours. Come with me. <coughs> hey, <coughs> please! It could go any second. Look, I've got to go. If you hear someone blow a whistle, that's the signal it's coming down. Just keep talking to him, yeah? Good luck, mate. Did you hear that car? We really need to go now. Come on, please. Just open the door. Come on. Fine. We'll just stay here together then, eh? You're stubborn. Just like your sister. I don't even know where she's made it. I don't really do talking. That's how it started, my speech. Stupid, eh? I don't really do talking. But sometimes you've got to speak up. And today is my daughter's wedding day, and I am so proud of her. I wish it was half the person she was. Not that I can take much credit for it, because, um... I wasn't there for much of her growing up. And that is my biggest regret. That's why I'm willing to stand here today and make an idiot myself in front of you lot. To promise her I'll never leave her again. And I will always be there for her. Please, mate, just, just, just grab my hand now. Come on. Kyle. Can you hear me? This can't be it. <laughs> what I need to know... Whether you meant those vows that you said to me. What are the last words I hear you say? They can't be about him.
Half of Yorkshire heard that. Vic and Rob are on the way, and Eric. He still isn't picking up. Of course he isn't. He's found something better to do than worry about me in the flaming fairground of death. Rachel took a while. She's still crying. We've still got time, Amelia. Oh, babe. I'm so sorry. I've been horrible to you. You were so good to wear. I couldn't do anything. How long does it take to clear a power line? Surely it's just a case of throwing a switch at me. Al. Al? Are you crying? What if I am? Are you hurt? Yes. Andy's keeping vigil for you outside. And Robert and Victoria. Probably the whole pub's lighting candles for you as we speak. Oh, God. Eric can't even be bothered to turn up. So it's back to it being a contest. Of course it's a contest. It's always a contest. And you always have to win with your happy families and your perfect pub. And I got sent down for impersonating Brenda. Brenda? She's not even interested. 
had such grand ideas for my memorial. I wish I hadn't bothered because nobody would turn up. Don't be daft. It's true. I've thought a lot about dying recently. And I know you think I'm bang on about me HIV. But it doesn't half make you think about what you've got. And I've got no one to miss me if I die in a freak fairground accident. You've got Eric. Oh, whoop de doo He'd probably just wait till I was mildly cold before trying his look again with Brenda. Or you. And Finn. Paul. And Sharon. Ooh. And David. Alicia. Amy loves you like a mother. She's still scarred. And me, Val. Me. Your sister. I love you more than all of them put together. So don't you dare say I wouldn't grieve for you. Because I don't know what I'd do without you. You're an infuriatingly selfish old drama queen. And I love you. <laughs> you didn't have to say old. You were all right with infuriatingly selfish drama queen? I was thinking of calling me memoirs that. <laughs> oh, I think your head's bleeding again. Oh, let me think. Is that all you've got? Please hurry up. Val, promise me you won't go through with this whole fake death thing. I told you there's no other way. Chris, own up. Take your punishment. Easy as that. Yes, it is. Because that way, even if you go to prison, you can come back to your life here. And I won't lose you. Both okay. Yeah, yeah. Just let's not hang about her. Eh? It's a bit of a way. I can only take one at a time. Who's coming first? Uh, her need is greater than mine. No, take her. She's got a cut in her head. Are you sure? I'm sure. I insist. You see, I'm not always selfish. Now, we're gonna have to hold on tight. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Now are we a hundred percent sure I'm awake because the fireman are my dreams always say that. Ignora. I'd make the same try. We're coming out. Uh, don't make a stranger of yourself, Fireman Sam. On oh, sis, make sure there's still a crowd when I come out. I know I'm not always selfish, but your drama queen bit was was dot on. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love you. to get out now. Hurry it up. Are oh, you joking me? 
pigeon. The one time I do something nice, the one time. Oh, that's not fair. Come on then. Do your worst. I'm not frightened of you. I'm H.I. Val. I'm Valerie Pollard of the Valerie Pollard Foundation. I'm Val. Emma Dale's back in half an hour.